Hello everyone, this is Gameholics. Today, at long last, we'll be presenting our tower defense game named Defend Tommy Children. Currently in alpha stage, the code is hosted on our GitHub. It's uh, open sourced in MIT license. We are offering build in Android, which can be run on your Android emulator or your Android phone. Feel free to check it out on your own device. And if you like our work, please click the star on our repo. Will be the demo of our game will be on emulator. So this is an uh, emulator of an Android device. And upon successful installation, our game will look like this. This little children. And click on it, we'll be starting our journey. After the cutscene, the player will arrive at our, the main page of our game, created by the little children that's, that was created by our own artist. The volume can be changed in volume option. The first thing a player will do is to get form a team before heading into the battlefield. Super rare item will have the special effects. Looks like for this time, we have our Iceman, our football player, our fireman, our magic tower. We have four units at hand. In this game, there are totally five units that player can deploy onto the battlefield. It might take multiple draw before we get all the crew members we need. Here, we have our cheerleader. Now that we have everyone on board, let's head to the mission. The game progress by unlocking, uh, completing each level will unlock, will, will unlock the next level. But here is a secret that you shouldn't tell anyone. The cheat is clicking on this little flower you will be able to unlock all the missions. Welcome to the northeast part of our USC, where battle stations are across the map around the Doheny Library. Each flag will have will, will will be a station that our defenders can hold their ground. And yes, deploying defenders will cost money. Here you see I have zero left. Here comes the first wave of enemy. Uh, flag wavers from our friendly opponent's school. Defeating enemy will generate income for our player to deploy more defenders onto the battlefield. The first level was easy, peasy. Now we have arrived at southeast of our campus. Battle stations are around the Levy Library. 
Apparently, our enemy will be approaching us from the north and the east. And it seems this time they move super fast. Guess this time we were really caught off guard. This time let's try another strategy. Since the enemy moved so super fast, let's see how our ice ball player would work. The Ice Bowl player is the natural killer for the fast moving units since they slow down enemy movements significantly. Enemy shell leaders are super hard to kill as they have super high hit points. But we have our file slower who deals massive damage to our opponent's shell leaders. On, on this level, which is the 4th level, we are defending around our Bovar Auditorium, where the ter terrain is very open. There are so many ways that can lead to our children. The first way was easy but all of a sudden we got our new opponents the mascot of our opponent's school it seems only our cheerleader will be the choice to counter those attacks cheerleaders can use magic to confuse the enemy. You see although the bears are tough, when they are hit by our cheerleaders, they go in opposite option and eventually get lost in our map. Never mind, nothing happened. We are at the fifth level, the final level of our game. Again, the map is very open. 
the enemy comes in from all directions. When we see a large group of enemies like this, that's our magic, magic tower would come into place. They deal massive area, area of effects damage and can obliterate anything upon contact. And with that, our all of our missions has been completed. Let's take a moment to remember the names of our awesome programmers, artists, designers who made this game possible. If you like our work, don't forget to give us a star on our GitHub page. It's free. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself.